Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the parallel stream. So in past few video tutorials, we had discussed about the stream API. And this is the almost final video on parallel stream or you can say stream API. So here we are uh, going to discuss about the parallel stream. Before Java 8, parallelization was complex. Emerging of the executor service and and the fork join simplified developers life a little bit but uh, they still should keep in mind how to create a specific executor how to run it and, and so on java 8 introduced a way of accomplishing parallelism in the functional style and that's why we can use lambda expression over here uh, the api allows creating parallel stream which performs operation in parallel mode. When the source of a stream is a collection or an array, it can be achieved with the help of parallel stream. Right? So if you look into the collection API, a collection interface, then we have a method is called parallel stream, right? So sorry, we are in collections class, so I'm looking for the collection interface so if you go to the collection interface here then we have a method is called sorry parallel stream so if your source is uh, arrays or any kind of collection then easily we can create parallel stream using parallel stream api which is available in the collection interface right so same i have done here in first section we are going to learn creating parallel stream from collection right so we have a product list which is kind of list so basically we have converted arrays into list so and on list we are calling this parallel stream method so we get the stream of product and just we are checking this stream of collection is parallel stream or not so this will print absolutely true over here right and this, it is recommended that this method should should be called before any terminal operation is called on this stream so if you look into the uh, java doc so what they have written returns whether this stream if a terminal operation were to be executed uh, would execute in parallel calling this if any ter terminal operation you are calling then this will execute in parallel calling this method after invoking and terminal uh, stream operation method may yield unpredictable results so make sure that you are calling uh, before uh, any terminal operation gets called on this stream and just we are just we are trying to print whether this is a parallel stream or not so this will print true and here in next same stream we are going to use and we have used we have called map method on it which is the intermediate operation and here we are just applying the lambda expression and every product price we are just multiplying by 12 and we are applying the terminal operation like any match and we are checking any price any product whose price is greater than 200 because here every product price we have multiplied by 12 so if you look into the product price of 23 into 12 that would be more than 200 of course so this guy is going to return you true and same we are printing over here now second thing we are going to discuss over here creating parallel stream from int stream long stream and double stream if your source is not a collection then how we can create parallel stream so as we have discussed so if you want to create i mean a stream from uh, primitive type like int long and double so directly you cannot uh, create but uh, java it uh, has added three interface right and this using this three interface you can create a string right so if your source of a string uh, if your source is integer then if you go to in this interface then we have a in int int stream we have a method is called parallel so you can make use of this to create, create parallel stream similarly if you go to the long stream then same method is here parallel and double stream they have added same api almost parallel right so these three i mean same api is added in the these three interfaces 
so here what I have done int steam and I have called range value so 1 to 149 right last last parameter is exclusive and this is inclusive and I have called parallel so this will create the parallel stream right and just we are checking this is parallel stream or not this will return the true over here and third thing uh, a steam API a stream a stream API automatically uses the fork join framework to execute operation in parallel by default the common thread pool will be used and there is no way uh, there is no way to assign some custom thread thread pool to it when using streams in parallel mode avoid blocking operations and use parallel mode when ask ask uh, when task needs to be similar amount of time to execute right the steam is parallel mode the steam is steam in the parallel mode can be converted back to the sequential mode by using sequential uh, method so here we have created some parallel stream right so if you look into this we have a uh, in parallel stream so which we have created here so if you want to convert from parallel stream to sequential stream then we have a method is called sequential which is available on again uh, all these three interfaces right so easily you can convert parallel stream to sequential stream and here just we are checking whether this is this has been converted into the parallel stream or not uh, uh, sequential stream or not so this will return you as we are converting parallel stream to sequential stream so this will return flag as a false so there are three sop right so we have a three sop so this will is going to return you true then true again this will give you the true and this will be the false so let's run this program and let's see what happens and here you can see first three sop is returning true and last is false so i hope you understood this uh, this source code and finally conclusion about steam api the steam api is a powerful but simple to understand understand set of tools for processing sequence of elements it allows us to reduce the huge amount of boiler, boiler plate code create more readable programs and improve application productivity when used properly right so i hope you enjoyed learning uh, steam api and uh, that and uh, i'll come up with uh, some more videos uh, on like in some next i mean feature in jdk 1.8 1 and that is nothing nothing but the uh, date and time api so if you look into the we have java has added a more one new interface is called java dot time and if you search uh, press control shift t and try to search for the like local date something like that then look at the, this class is available in java dot time and in this package jdk 1.8 has added a lot of classes and interfaces so we are going to explore uh, latest uh, i mean this feature which is available in jdk 1.8 that is nothing but the java date time enhancement in jdk 1.8 and i hope you enjoyed uh, learning this video and see you in the next video tutorial and thanks for watching this video